Alright guys, I recently picked up a uh, cable from um, the Hasbro online store. I'm really excited to check him out here on the channel. I do bear with me, I'm a bit, feeling a bit stuffy at the moment, but um, I'm kind of using this uh, the Marvel Comics number one, uh, an 80th um, anniversary uh, edition of uh, Marvel's uh, first ever sort of comic. And uh, I really, I really like this comic. But uh, subscribe to the channel, never miss, never miss a video. But this is a really, really nice edition. Has um, sort of uh, the comic uh, number one of the Human Torch, <coughs> and a recoloring, and a recoloring of it um, as well. Late later on, and there the, uh, also covers uh, in, sort of introduction of the Sub Submariner. This is a really nice edition. Here's the back. I haven't actually read read through this fully, but I'd I'd like to. Uh, Finish it off myself. A nice 80th anniversary <coughs> of the comic, excuse me. But and here's the back of the package for for cable. Really excited uh, to check this guy out. Um, I, I'm I'm very familiar with with him from the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 game. Um, he's really good in that game. Actually, he's really strong. He has his hyper viper uh, sort of um, how would you kind of kind of like, it's like a rainbow. Rainbow sort of beam, energy beam. He's really strong, and he can sort of once he builds up lots of meat, or he can keep um, keep um, he can keep, sort of keep you pinned down, and he can. Oh my God, he's really really strong. But I'm really excited to check. It was really excited that um, that that uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is, is going to is going to come out <coughs> um, this year. Though I did see that the the physical version, because I wanted to pick up a physical version myself, isn't released till uh, December, like late December of this year. So, so I'm not 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 too to certain because it, they kind of said um, on the website it's coming soon, but December is isn't soon in in my in my, in my mind. <laughs> but um, but we'll see. But that, that's just for the physical for the physical edition. But I really like the look at this character. <coughs> he was. Um, I'm not sure if he's sold out. He might be sold out online. Um, but I just re I really liked the look of him. He just looks really cool. Like he's he's definitely kind of like a must have kind of figure. He just you know with the guns and everything. He looks quite large as well. For just from from a quick glance at his at his packaging there, but. But I, I have the tape measure, so I'll, I'll um, be interested to see how tall, tall he is and how he stacks up against other Marvel Marvel Legends uh, figures. <coughs> the weather's been good at the moment. It's been very warm, actually. Um, today is not too bad. It's a little bit cooler, which is kind of nice and refreshing. Sometimes the heat is just a bit, bit much, but... Um, oh, my God. I, I cer certainly can't complain. Good weather is just good weather, you know. But... Um, Oh, here's one of the weapons. It's like a, it's like a small sort of dual barrel shotgun. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Kind of reminds me of the gun from Doom or something. He also comes with a big, a big blaster. <coughs> that looks great. Really like kind of silver, to, silver to that. Just really like the look, the look, the look at this guy. He's got a nice sort of little um, flare on one, one of his eyes. But but as I say, I'm I'm really familiar with him through Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's my introduction to Cable. Um, he, he can throw bombs and stuff, so I'm really excited to. Um, it's really exciting to, um, to give that game, give that game a, sh a shot again. It's just a very fond memory of Marvel's Capcom 2, the online version for the PlayStation 3, um, because um, like, like honestly, like 90% of my friends online are from that game, from that one game, Marvel's Capcom game. Um, it just you play people and it's just I don't know there's a great buzz about it like it's just a super fun game like I'm not not really good well I'm okay at it well I'm I'm, I'm you know I want to get better but I remember just getting absolutely destroyed online by people who never really stopped playing the game you know but um, you know you know I remember getting infinited you can infinite people in the game and stuff like that but um, I still absolutely love the game love the game and I'm really excited to check out the earlier games because I missed out on a, on a previous collection that came out but uh, it's no longer a sale and I also regret not buying it but here's Cable here I just he just looks great you know um, 
head can rotate all the way around. It's just I like the little, 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 little glint in the eye. It's just a really nice touch on the sort of metal arm. <clears throat> and he's just got, he's just big and chunky. You know, he's just got a big. He just looks big. You know, he just looks great. It's just like he's just like a really cool figure. He's just like a really cool figure. Um, I like I like touch that. It's got a kind of nice feel to it. Like it's like a interesting sort of textured plastic. Like his belt, his belt and that, or the yellow straps, is kind of like a soft dish plastic. But but I wouldn't. It doesn't. It doesn't appear to like come off or anything like that. Yeah, it's just nice details. Tiny bit of tiny bit of waist movement, and um, in his upper body, is tiny bit of tiny bit of movement there. <clears throat> I just think he looks great. I just love. It. Maybe it's the yellow that just makes him look pop, makes him pop, or you know, has a vibrancy to it. But um, with that X Men look, uh, yeah, I've been watching X Men ninety seven as well. <clears throat> I resubscribed to Disney Plus. They had a nice deal on, and uh, really enjoying the show. Actually, I just love the artwork. I love the artwork. I love Marvel's kind of classic. I just love that art style. I just absolutely love the art style. Everything just looks so sort of shiny and oh man, I just I, I love I love it. Like I'm an artist myself. Like so, you know, I just I just I appreciate appreciate good 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 art, you know. But um, maybe I'll do a review on it. I really enjoyed Fallout as well. I never mentioned Fallout, but um, really, really, I was blown away by that show. I I, I just never really got around to doing a review or anything. Um. Maybe I'll do a late review or something like that, like, like that, like you know. But um, absolutely, I really loved loved Fallout. But here, here we have our tape measure. You can see that he's like seven inches, or about eighteen centimeters centimeters tall. So really nice, really nice height height to this figure. But uh, yeah, really loved Fallout, and I'm really enjoying um, X Men ninety seven as well. But um. Our arms can twist around as well. Hands can sort of twist around. So I'll, ch I'll change it out to. Um, he's got two extra hands, like kind of uh, trigger finger hands. I definitely want to. I definitely want to. I definitely want to uh, use them because I want to display him with with the weapons. Oh, it's nice that he comes with clen clenched fist. Clenched, clenched fist. Excuse me. But I, re I really, I really enjoyed Ella's Ella Purnell's um, uh, performance as uh, as Lucy M McLean in the, in the Fallout show. I, th I just, I just thought she was really fun, and, and so it's sort of exciting and engaging. And, and it just like she had all the different expressions and all. I just thought, thought she was great. It's it just funny because I, I, I really believe that like what one of my early games of, of Fallout. I, I believe I, I, I played a lady character and I called her Lucy actually as well. Um, I'll have to dig that up something, but um. I'd, li I'd like to get back into uh, the game, but um, and uh, I think Walter Goggins. I'm not sure playing the girl. I thought he was, thought he was a really, really cool character, and um, the the Brotherhood guy as well. The guy in the, in the night arm. Just really blown away by that show. I was, I was, I was like, I, I, I was very excited about it, and it just sort of exceeded my excitement. And I just really, really enjoyed that show. I was hooked. And now I'm really excited for season two. I'm ho hoping that they will do a a season two. They must do a season two because I believe it's, it it did it did very well. So um, I believe a showrunner said they're 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 rushing they're rushing to get or they're, they're working hard working hard on a season two. That's really exciting. So um, I just never 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 got around to to reviewing it. Um, even even Inside Out two, I, I went to see Inside Out two, and I was blown away by it. Absolutely blown away about, uh, blown away, um, by it. By anxiety, I highly recommend going to check check that film out. Really really fun movie. Really 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 just uplifting movie. Generally great movie. P Pixar's back on top. It's doing I believe d doing very well. It could, it could easily hit a billion. Um, just did 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 really well. Really, really great movie. I'm, I'm planning to go and watch it again. I'd like to do a, a full review on it. Maybe I will. But um, I, I loved. It. I just loved the way everything looked. But um, everything was just so bright and um, 
defects on it, even the hair and stuff. But, but here, I'm getting a bit off track here. But, but here we have Cable here. I, I just think he looks great. I just really like the um, his overall look, and he just he looks really really comic accurate. But it's great uh, poseability in these figures. You can it is there's movement at the um, at the knees and at the feet, and the kind of legs can swivel swivel a little bit as well. But he stands really well. Overall, just just great figure. But um, we'll bring in some other 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 figures that we looked at recently as well, just for a nice nice comparison. Here's Hallow's Eve figures figure we looked at re recently. She she looks great. I just lo I love the black black with the with with the orange. And here's Jean Grey. Really, really great. Really, really loving the uh, X Men ninety seven. We might do, might do a video on it. Um, but I'm, I'm early on in, 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 in it. But uh, really, really enjoying it. I just love the artwork and all that. But um, these just Marvel Legends figures. Just really lo love them. Great, incredible detail on these figures. And um, I think, I think Cable is great. He, he's just, it's just for me. He's like a must-have character. He just, I just really like the look of him. He's just such a fun figure. But um, I'm really happy to pick him up. You, you can see he just sort of, he sort of not towers over. He's so big compared to the compared to the other other figures here. But um, but uh, we go in for a really great detail around his eye and his face. Just really really cool. Really, really cool. But thank you very much for watching. It. If you watched this far, definitely hit that like button. Um, really helps me out and I will catch you in another video so see you then bye